this is the um, this is the basic notes that we're dealing with. It's three notes on the uh, actually let's start off with the low note. There's an A there, your third finger, twelfth fret, A string. Then on your G string, you get three notes. E F sharp A. There's no notes on the B string. You go right to the E string and play C sharp, E and F sharp. So it's one note, three notes, and three notes. The pattern, I should probably show you a simpler form of this, because anybody who's going to try to play this, you don't want to jump right in with that crazy one. You want to do something a little bit simpler first. So um, this is exactly the same pattern. And then I'll show you how to how to translate it into these notes. So let's let's actually uh, as an exercise, let's go to A minor, fifth position, and it'll be. I think that's it. No. No. Yeah, it's actually real similar to that that lick where it stops. Um, I start with the five descending. So I just do it two notes, and then I do that pattern that I showed you earlier. The so it goes one, two, three, four, five, back up, two notes, and my famous pattern. So let's see how this sounds. And I think it just cycles. Picking is uh, so this is an upstroke. Yeah. Let me do it real slow. The reason I showed you that is, is that the left hand's not too bad on that. I mean, it's, it's tricky, but at least you don't have to do some horrible stretch. Because for this, you do have to do a horrible stretch. But it's exactly the same lick. Um, you know, this lick was one note, three notes, and one note at the beginning of that. And then you get that little. Well, let, let me um, so let me let me try explaining that again. So the beginning part transferred to this would be you can hear the rhythmic similarity. The picking is the same too. This that's why this style of picking is so important because it allows you to do that string scooping cleanly. So, and we just put the rest of the pattern in, so... I could never do that unless I had done this first. So, 